Hey, welcome back to view part three of the coronavirus dashboard that I shared a few days ago. Um, this is Danelli with Analyze with Power. Um, so in part one, we talked about the data model and then we talked about the DAX. And now I just wanna walk you through some of the visualizations that I used. Um, this is gonna be a little bit straightforward because all of them are from um, here for the, you know, I didn't import any of any of this ones are not imported. This here is imported. Um, this is a, a slicer with um, hierarchy. And you can get that from the um, app source. You can just search in there for the slicer. Let's see. I'm going to say slicer and search and you can see all of the different types and you just click it and it'll be there so let's talk about some of the you know the visualizations that we have here first of all we want the dashboard to be clean um sometimes we think that a lot of data it's good and it is not we as data analysts need to make sure we understand this is not for us. This is for somebody else. Someone else is looking at this. Um, so this needs to be targeted to the audience, not to what we think. And sometimes we overcomplicate things, add a lot of filters or slicers, and then people can use it because they're not they're not wired to think that way. So in this case, we, we when we're building a dashboard, we need to make sure that you know, when visualizing data, it is appealing and and is insightful do not I repeat, let's not add a visualization just because it looks good or just because oh hey um and i may be guilty of this you know i mean there's just i'm no you know <laughs> i'm not like a super expert on this but at least you know I, I i try to keep my dashboard dashboard meaningful so that's what i would say to you i'm um, trying to keep it meaningful so you don't want to add anything or the colors you you know you need to be very careful with that kind of stuff so in here we have some gorgeous in here why did i use gorgeous because it's, 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 it is easy for somebody to look at this recovered number here and say hey so oh hey that's that's more than halfway right and and just by looking at it it gives you some some information and the way to get that um that way is it's going on a new tab in here. I'm going to include it so that I can see it. Let's see. Okay. Select these, the um, visualization that I want. I'm going to go ahead and say recovered in here and let's bring that as my value. So I need to select, uh, enter a max number and I want my max to be the actual total confirmed cases, right? That way, um, it is meaningful for them. So, oops. Why? Oh, sorry, that's the wrong. This is the one I need. Okay. So a few things you have in here that you can use to um, make your gosh different. You can change it however you want. Like remove the data labels, for example. Um, I don't have a target. Um, my catalog value. I whoops. Where's this? I actually don't want it to be uh, in thousands. I want people to see the number. And then I want to change the color. So to change the color, you can, this is going to be useful for when you're doing something for your company and branding and all of that. You can actually look into the um, hex colors, right? And just Google it. And I actually am going to go ahead and make it purple. So I can select my hex color from here. And I'm going to go and say, hey, fill this with a custom color. And um, I'm gonna paste it in there, and voila! Now I've got my my color that I wanted. So that's what we're doing over here. Um, again, this this other visualization, it, it it we need to make sure that what we're showing helps the brain. So in this example, I'm saying, okay, this is the number of confirmed, and this is going down, okay, recovered, active, and death. So um, it helps people put that into perspective. Adding, you know, some facts, as I did in here, 
trend. So um, something else that I think would be useful for us to look at is this, um, if you notice this here, this tooltip. So if I hover over it, it will give me um, the trends for that specific location. Um, let's see, in the same, we can see it in here, right? Confirmed, and right, you, you can see the trends. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and go to the dashboard. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, just insert, just create, just duplicate this table because I want you to see how to um, get that working. And I will change this to country because I have um, a lot of, there's a lot of blank on, on, on blanks on this data set for province. Um, if it's not the United States, it's blank. So this is this is what our table looks like. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So what I want is to show something in here. And of course, this, I'm not showing anything because this is not connected to the right thing. Uh, let's actually go here and on tooltip. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, say nothing for now, right? It's nothing. So let's go ahead and create our tooltip. Let's uh, move this out of the way. So I'm going to create another page. And what I will do is change the size. Because otherwise, it'll be too big. Tooltip, that's the size. I'm going to go to my graph that I want, which is this one. I already created it. There's no need for me to create it again. I'm going to fix it in here. Get all of it. On my title, I actually want it to show me the first country, I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, based on the country, give me the first country that you're seeing. So this is going to help, you know, whenever you hover over it, it will filter that. Um, I'm going to say TT and I'm going to hide it because I don't want people to see it. So when, once I'm in here, I need to make sure on their page information i want to say this is a tool tip then on my table or matrix i'm going to go to tool tip and say i want you to get a report page and it's that tt right there so there you go that's how you see it um to finalize i do want to mention there's a great ar article about mapping <laughs> data. Um, I went ahead and I included a map because um, I, I, I did receive a lot of people asking for it. So I just wanted to go ahead and, and include it. Um, but if you can take a moment to read that, that article. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned. Um, if there's anything else, any other questions that you have, feel free to reach out to me. Um, if it's general questions that I may be able to answer, I will. Um, I hope that you do have a fantastic day. I will post the um, data model with the connections um, so that you guys can um, use it or actually uh, just see connection strengths so you can build it on your own because I want you to be able to build it. So I'm going to go ahead and share that M query that you can go ahead and then just use. So I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. Thank you.